Hello, and welcome to Miss of Time Emporium. I'm Joni. And I'm Ash. And today we're here to go through the Buffy deck. Now, this is Ashley's deck, and Ashley has a good memory around Buffy and everything else. <laughs> so I'm having her assist with her deck today. I'm a little Buffy fanatical, <laughs> so I'm here to assist. Yes, <laughs> so that um, I don't um, irritate Buffy fans. <laughs> I also am a fan. Everybody in our family is a fan of Buffy. Let's just get that straight right out of the box. Speaking of out of the box. <laughs> okay, so this is an insight deck. And there are a lot of opinions about insight. We happen to really like this deck. So I'm a fan. if you like insect insight decks, you're in the right place. So it's just a two-part box, pull box. Uh, it's got the ribbon, which I'm not using very well. I put my cards in differently. Um, there's just a little, uh, you know, the four suits at the bottom of the box. So let's look at the cards for just a second first. Um, this is the back of the cards. Is there any significance to the back of the cards that we can tell or just that's a general just oh, a general I'm bet. sure that symbol means something but I can't think of it right now it does have the pentagram for Willow okay so um, and we start off with the fool what so let's talk about the booklet first so then we're not distracted and we can get to the cards and be really 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 excited so here's the booklet now something we need to talk about is insight is notorious for having pips that are not illustrated, but in this deck, that is not true, correct? No, every every card is illustrated. So that's fun. So that's the plus side. Um, and it does refer in here into the majors. It says who it is, the character, but it does not in the minors, correct? Right. Okay, so. It's, it mentions them a little bit in the descriptions, but it doesn't label them. So there are some cards where it doesn't identify the character. Oz. Don't we all love Oz? Sort of. I mean, he does make a boo-boo. We love Oz anyway. Let's we love, we yeah, okay. <laughs> we love Oz. <laughs> um, now, let's talk a little bit about the book. Um, whoever edited the book didn't know Buffy because there's a couple of places in here. Do you remember which one? I'll point them out as the cards come up. There's a couple where the images don't match the descriptions. The descriptions do apply to the particular card that it is. The meaning is appropriate, but they talk about a different Buffy scenario than the picture on the card. So there's one point where Ben is on the card, but they refer to him as Riley and the situation involving Riley. So it looks like they might have done a switcheroo on the imagery before they released the deck. Okay, and we should say um, this, the author is Casey Gilley and the illustrator is Carl James Montford. So there's a little blurb about them as well. All right, now let's move on to the cards because we're all excited about that. So let's talk about how he's perfect as the fool. He's the perfect fool. Because Xander, right? Like he's, he's like all in. He's all in. And um, even when things happen, like insect girlfriends, he's still all in. <laughs> <laughs> we love Willow as the magician. I love, I love Willow anyway. She's my favorite character. Tara. We also love Tara. We love Tara. Not as much as we love Oz, but we do love Tara. We do love Tara. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Drusilla. <laughs> I love this. I love this because I love this scene, especially with Buffy. It's, this is the very, very end, I believe, when she's having that talk with Angel about how, you know, she's she's got a lot to do still. But I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Giles. So I watched Buffy when I was in my teen years, and now I am 38, and Giles is now my favorite character because I am older now, and I get the uh, the perspective of the old guy. <laughs> so teenagers. Giles was always my favorite character, of course, because I was an adult in the house watching with my children, who were not children children, but still. But um, 
now I've come to really appreciate Willow. <laughs> so <laughs> I've switched. The lovers. How do you feel about the musical? I know people are torn about the musical. I, for one, am a fan. I've watched it a million times. Leave us a comment. Although I didn't like the song. I did not like this song. But I do love the musical as a whole. I love the musical, too. <laughs> no comment. <needed. laughs> All right. Fam, how do we feel about Dawn as the strength card? Because, yes, Dawn, yes, she comes into her own. But Dawn is so freaking whiny. I have such a hard time with Dawn as the strength because I don't so like Dawn. So I think this is more about the evolution of Dawn. Yes. Because Dawn ends up and then is, you know, confronted with some very disturbing information. And they still have their love of each other. So I think it's about her, That's her finding true. her strength, right? She's still whiny. She is whiny. She's whiny. I mean, I love Cordelia. I love the way that Car Cordelia whines. Yes. Um, we love that whiny, but yeah, Dawn's, I, I don't know. I'm a big sister, and Ashley's a little sister. <laughs> so. Even as a little sister, I cannot relate to Dawn. I'm like, pull yourself together. <laughs> so, Oz. The, the, the okay, hermit. we're we going to keep saying, hermit. like, okay, Oz was my favorite, too. Yes, it's true. Love, love, love the first slayer as the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I yes. Agree. I agree wholeheartedly yes. with this I'm being a fan. the justice card. I'm a fan. <laughs> and again, I feel like of all the Insight Edition yeah. decks, this one really nails the characters with the cards. Okay, Spike's my favorite too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Spike is kind of in a category all his own. This is not my favorite. This was so creepy. It was so creepy. It's still creepy. We're rewatching now. Although when they're in the auditorium and they can't use words and Buffy's gesturing at, at staking and everyone is kind of like, what is she gesturing? Like, that's one of my favorite scenes from from this episode. So I can get on board with that. But yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're it, super creepy. It's a great card for death. Hands up if you don't like um, Joyce Summers. Hands up. I can't put my hand up. I have a... A wound, but um, yeah, I'm not a fan of Joyce. Um, I, I, as a mother, I don't really appreciate her yeah, attitude. I, I mean, you know, okay, I was crushed when we lost Joyce, but spoiler but alert, mostly for Buffy's sake. I guess we should have done a spoiler <laughs> Sorry, alert, spoiler alert. <laughs> at the beginning of this because we're going to talk about Buffy. Right, perfection. Because, okay. because. The devil is all about temptation and not allowing corruption of, of your intentions. And this is exactly what happens to Willow. So I think it's perfect. And the tower. I mean, right, right. I, I mean, honestly, I think it puts a really positive spin on the tower. So many people are afraid of the tower card. And well, then... and that's the thing, right? I mean, we could go into that. We won't because we have a whole deck <laughs> to whole, go I'm through, sorry. but We're very no, no, that's, that that's way. great. Um, and, and the Kendra. Ke Kendra. You know, yeah, it's fine. Kendra. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing her to take away her from accent Kendra. accent threw me. She shouldn't have been doing the accent. It's fine. I love her character. I didn't dig her accent. Faith. Oh, my God. Right. Like, really? uh, does it take us right back? Like, does, does it, it take did it, everybody immediately tear up? Like, did you just like lose your breath? You just went <gasps> like that, right? We could stay. We could stay there forever. Yes. But <laughs> okay, is, is there any more perfect for the judgment card than Anya? <laughs> and Anya is my favorite character. No, <laughs> like seriously, this is no early Anya because they right. Later yes, Anya, she becomes a little too judgmental. Okay, yes. the world. Never mind. The world is my favorite card. <laughs> this is when she's awarded the class protector award by Jonathan before before Jonathan takes a turn. This this was oh, oh so I'm gonna say it about 800 scenes. One of my favorite scenes <laughs> in all of the series when she gets this lighted umbrella. It's just I love it. I love it so much. I mean, 
you know. They're cool. They're very cool. Yeah. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice that this these miners are illustrated. They're oh, not, yeah. you know, I mean, they, I mean, look at that. I am not a fan of pip decks, so I was really happy to see these fully illustrated and to see Doppelganger Willow because she's just too cool. <laughs> The number of times I quote this episode where Giles becomes this <laughs> demon, it's it's a little ridiculous. The amount of times it applies in my daily life, I think particularly <laughs> as a mother, because I go sometimes when my kids won't stop chatting at me, it makes me feel like Giles <laughs> when he turns into the demon. This is the training this dummy, training right? Dummy, yeah, okay. Yeah. I... I have to look this one up because I know what episode this is, but her standing face to face, I don't really remember. Nor do I, to be honest. So, so I don't if, know if that's symbolic or... Um, if you do remember, please leave it the, a comment down in the description and enlighten us all. Awesome. Yes, because it's all the Slayers, right? right? Love this. Uh, when Spike gets his soul... Ah, oh, he's so good. Spike is such a good character. He is. And this is Willow, yes? Because of the red hair? I don't remember Willow being the one to do this. Again, if you've uh, got some insight on the insight deck. <laughs> um, <laughs> Harmony! Okay. <laughs> I love Harmony. I loved Harmony when she was... I guess you can't really call her good. But when she was not vampire Harmony. But I absolutely love Harmony when she becomes a vampire. She is one of my favorite characters throughout. And, and her dynamic with Spike cracks me <laughs> up to no end. This is Andrew. We can tell because he's got his camera walking the halls of Sunnydale High. Kennedy. <laughs> How do we feel about Kennedy, y'all? Um, it goes Oz. And then Tara. And that's it. <laughs> oh, Xander with his eye patch. I know. I still I oh, like the eye patch. I mean we, we sort of love the eye patch, but we sort of yes. don't love Xander losing his eye. That's true. Okay, so chalices. Buffy and Faith. That's cute. cute. Again, you know, some of these cards, obviously, it doesn't happen literally, but it mm -hmm. it's symbolic. <laughs> Principal Snyder. I, we just started rewatching the series and he comes in. And they should have made his ears stand out more. Right? I'm sorry. They should have been out to the side Agreed. more. Oh, and Buffy bails and goes and becomes a waitress. I think that's the episode we're about to start again, actually. <laughs> that was a good one the only time I like Joyce <laughs> <laughs> I love this card because right this is the card about having too many choices and we see Buffy in her Halloween costume there's Cordelia there's um, Willow so I love it and it shows him in his, his army costume too so it's really cool that they chose to give all the choices to Xander I really like that the Knights. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Got it a little out of frame because I was trying to do a close-up on Xander's choices. Now I'm torn. He is like my favorite villain, aside from, you know, like Spike was a villain, but, you know, he becomes one of the main. But him and Glory are like my two favorite, two favorite villains in the entire series. But this is like my favorite episode. When Willow puts the power in all of the Slayers... Love. Love, love, love. Oh, this guy. Krem? Is his name Clem? Maybe it's Clem. But when they're gambling for kittens. I always thought this was a goofy costume. I love him. Sorry if I have offended some of the fans. Spike. Before he becomes Spike. I think this is Halfrek. I think that's her name, the uh, the other vengeance demon. 
that ends up butting heads with Anya, I believe. I think she comes to save Dawn, and then Dawn lets her know her services are not needed. <laughs> I love that card. And then mm-hmm. scythes. Okay, so this is one of the cards where in the booklet it's referring to Riley and a scenario with Riley. This is actually Ben, the one who shares a body with Glory. So it doesn't match up to the description, but the meaning of the card is accurate. Yeah, that, that, still, like, again, still. That episode is hard for me to watch. This is also a nice cardstock, by the way. It shuffles beautifully. It's um, it's coated, it's laminated, so yeah, it's an it's got a nice feel to it, and it's not paper thin. It's not one of those paper decks, so I mean, obviously, it's made out of paper, but um, it's it's a nice quality card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how I always picture her. Mm-hmm. Disapproving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ethan Rain sneaking off, being sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky. Like he is. <laughs> sneaky. I can't remember her name. Oh yeah. This is yeah. um the the doctor that created Adam. They do have a funny description of her in the deck. I'm not going to say it out loud, but um, if you use the deck and find the description, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe we should look at that at the end so they get an idea of, is that giving away too much? No, it's 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 a cursy word. Do we do cursy words on this channel? Let's do a cursy word. Right. Warning now. Spoiler alert. We're going to do cursy. a cursy word at the end. I love this one. I love this as mental anguish. We actually just watched this episode last night. So this is right where your your mind is tormenting you, and this is where everybody's deepest fears come true, their nightmares come true. Lord help us all. Mm-hmm. Speaking just, of, I'm, gonna, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Right. Amy with her mom's cheerleader trophy there. Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! Makes me want brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me just Glorificous. think of it. Yeah. Okay. Talk about a villain. She's fantastic. She's... She is so fantastic. Because you're like, I love you. I hate you. I love you. She's I hate you. such a smart ass. I love her. Jenny Callender. I'm torn. You know, I like Miss Calendar, but... I don't even remember. You know, also... I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I don't even remember. Okay, this is the mayor. We love the mayor. The mayor is hilarious. <laughs> I just think of him when he's the demon and he's like, well, gosh, like right at the end. And pentacles. <laughs> the devil meat palace. It's a meat process. <laughs> okay, this is the other one that bugs me in the in the guidebook because it's talking about Buffy and the Scoobies and how, you know, they're a team and they rely on each other. And that is true. Of this is Warren, Andrew, and Jonathan, but they are not the Scoobies. They are not. They are they're not. They're their own version of the Scoobies, but they're the bad guys. Yeah. And and so that it kind of bugs me because yes, it it does work, but also like it's it's off the mark with the Scooby Gang. The magic box. The magic box. And this is another one. So this in this one they're talking about Cordelia not being able to afford her dress because her daddy didn't properly file his taxes but the imagery is actually glory's minions so that one's another one that's off i think this might be health wreck again but i'm not sure i think she's a she's a vengeance demon and then i think he's the one that actually creates anya as the vengeance demon right i don't know where this Never been one for the timber. Do you remember? Do you remember the quote? She's she's talking about how Xander 
wants to play Shiver Me Timbers, but she's talking to Tara, and Tara's like, I've never been one for the timber. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Buffy. Dracula. Poor Xander. (laughs) Poor Xander. Oh, I don't remember her name. She's the one where they originally think Dawn is the up-and-coming slayer, and it's actually her. Do you remember her name? Don't Tell know. us. Please share her name. her name. Here's Riley. I don't like I don't like Riley. I I've never... like Riley, but he's not Angel, so we're not going to like I Riley as much. I don't like Riley as a character, even if he was separate from Buffy. He's just too vanilla, is he not? But, Tell me, are you a fan of Riley? But, so that's the thing. He's super vanilla, and then he goes and he goes to the like the yeah. sub parlor, and it's it's extra horrible, and you don't like like him enough to forgive him as well. Right, right. That's mm-hmm. the thing. It's like Angel will forgive anything. First of all, let's just all be honest. And Spike too, and that's the thing, he's, right? Because what he is, Spike comes around. Like Riley's super straight, and then yeah, he's just love, just... love, love, love. This is Robin's mom. Super awesome Slayer. And Robin. I love Robin. And that's the deck. So we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Oh, let's <laughs> let's look at that card. Um, okay, so we're going to put that on top. Cursey yeah. word. Cur- as Emily D. Uh, yeah. Baker says, cursey word alert here. I have not um, read this, so I don't know what it says. It's just her, her name. They call her Nene and... Oh, okay. If people refer to you as the evil bitch monster of yes, death, that's the evil bitch it might be a good time to rethink your worldview. An appearance from the Eight of Sides means you have been holding on to outmoded beliefs and overly restrictive rules and have put yourself into a prison made of your own thoughts. Consider purging the opinions and limitations holding you back and free yourself. Okay. So yes. don't be an evil bitch monster of death. Is right, exactly. I feel like that's a good message for all of us. <laughs> and so <laughs> that is, I'm going to put the box here so you can see it again, the insight, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Tarot. And we hope you enjoyed our um, commentary and our opinions, <laughs> which are all of our own opinions. <laughs> Please feel free to share your opinions. And if I have missed identified a character please let me know it drives me bonkers to not know characters so help me out and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for liking and subscribing and we'll be adding readings with the buffy deck to our etsy shop links below Uh, you can book a reading with either ashley or myself or both we'll see you then bye for now bye